sure is nice to sit back on a long weekend, eh? Oh yeah. I hope you've all been having a very relaxing weekend. So here in Canada, it's Victoria Day weekend. Uh, for most people, it's camping, fishing, uh, just traveling in general. Just the uh, scratching that itch after after being cooped up for the winter. Uh, it's also the point where we start looking at opening pools, planting our gardens, things like that. So this weekend, we were very, very busy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we didn't do any of that stuff this weekend. Cindy did work on the garden. Uh, but here, uh, we just felt there was so much stuff to do around the home, and around our, the, the small homestead, that uh, we were non-stop, basically, Saturday, Sunday, and we just finished, it's, uh, what, 5.30 or so? Yeah, about Monday evening now? Yeah, Monday evening now. So, back to work tomorrow, and I think the only thing left to do is uh, take you guys for a little tour. And then milk the goat. And milk the goat. Uh, yeah, let's go check that out. Well, that's what you what we did. Yes. All right. So one of the many things that we did do this weekend was uh, plant four apricot trees. Um, we started these trees from uh, pits. Uh, from, uh, we got uh, we got a couple bushels last year that we got from a friend of ours uh, from a tree off of a from a relative's tree in St. Catharines, and uh, we made wine from that. We kept the uh, pits and we started some uh, of our own trees. So this is just something we made up to uh, keep the rabbits out uh, and so we don't accidentally step on them or cut them down. All right, so yesterday I spent a bunch of time replanting tomatoes. I'd already planted what I thought I needed for the year, but I was thankfully gifted a bunch of tomato plants and I replanted because something was eating my plants. I think it was rabbits, I'm not sure. I didn't know rabbits ate tomatoes, but the best explanation I can have. And because of that, Bert also spent yesterday, or was it today, I don't even know, <laughs> uh, wrapping chicken wire around the garden where rabbits may get in and out, as well as around the herb garden, which surrounds our pear tree. So I'm hoping that'll solve the problem. So today with the tomato plants, what I did was I gathered up all these uh, sunflower stalks that we had from last year from giant sunflowers. They've been drying out. Most of them are hard. Some are hollow. We didn't use those. But the strong ones I'm using to stake the tomatoes. I've never done it before, but I think it just might work. So it's a good way to repurpose, recycle, and I think it looks kind of neat. Things are starting to look green a little bit. So I had so many tomato plants to use that I started sticking them everywhere. <laughs> I started off with a map in my mind for my garden, but now it's just a mishmash and I think it looks good. Yesterday, Bert also spent the day planting 30, I believe, cedars. Yeah, 30 more cedars. So that's 50 that we've planted so far this year. Yeah, so if those take, that'll make a really nice fence, a windbreak privacy fence. These ones are pretty small. We ordered them online, uh, get through the mail, they ship frozen. Can't say that I'm really impressed with them. Uh, the other 20 that we got locally were much nicer trees. We'll see. All right, so let's go. Let's go this way, and we'll talk about Max. Yeah, Max. That was today's project. Well, we started yesterday. Hi, Max. today inside the kids play yard so we double fence and it gives him some space 
it lets the kids play with them a little bit easier and it makes it easier for us when we have to move the goat because he is a puppy he's playful he wants to run out of the pen and he wants to jump on us it just makes it hard to move animals at the same time yeah so right now he just has that little shade thing there but uh another thing we have to do is build him a decent sized dog house yeah which he probably won't use because no, he likes to be not. outside in all weather all right guys so as you guys know a couple days ago we did our first uh concrete pad uh, it's been sitting for a bit uh there's a couple little blemishes but for the most part i'm pretty happy with it i know there's been some comments about how it's not the proper way to do it and uh, it won't last and things like that but keep in mind this is just a base for a, a little mini barn 10 by 16 shed it's not like we're driving on and things like that and i it's it's one personal choice i mean being a beginner had i mixed it and done everything as per proper way I probably still wouldn't have had a perfect outcome because I am I'm not a smack guy so so far we're quite happy with it we'll take the farms off the next couple days give it a few more weeks and then we will start putting our walls up and getting on with it finally all right so over over here in a big tractor here we have our uh, uh, quite, quite a large amount of our hatch this year for our replacement hens and some roosters for the freezer. Most of them are uh, Plymouth Bar Rock. There's a few little other mixes that are in there as well, but uh, that's mostly what we have decided to go with this year. Uh, we tend to like the breed and uh, give us some meat and eggs, so it seems like a good choice. So another thing we did today was move the goats. It was easier because Max was in, in his own pen. But we have the two um, pregnant female goats in with Molly now. And Molly's kids have been weaned and they are in with the two older Billy goats. Uh, we'll be milking Molly twice a day now. So that'll be more work, but it'll be more milk. And we're going to start making cheese and having fun with that. Uh, we have, as I said, two pregnant goats right now. Mia is the slightly larger one and Millie the smaller. Mia is due at the end of this month or the very beginning of next month. And I don't know if you can see her from here, but she is quite round. You can see from there. <laughs> that is a round goat. Any guesses to how many she'll have would be great. I'm always ready to be doing them out. The baby boys seem to be adjusting pretty well to being with the other Billy. Give Cindy back the camera. I actually feel quite shaky this weekend or after this weekend because I don't think I've kept as hydrated as I should have. Um, so as you can see, four males. The goal is one. <laughs> huh. I just keep throwing that in there once in a while because uh, Cindy would like to keep everything. All right, guys. And the very last thing I did this weekend, which I just finished, and that's why I'm still quite a mess, is a uh, all these rabbit cages. There's 16 of them, and. Uh, Basically took every one of them outside and power washed them down, got them all cleaned up again. Uh, over the winter they've got a lot of hair build up and just little, uh, just in need of a little TLC. So got them back to tip top again, all the rabbits if you're happy. So that was our long weekend. Lots of work in addition to the usual stuff like getting groceries, getting animal feed, little things, taking care of children. Yes. To be honest with you, we're putting out this video and if it seems a little choppy, we are quite tired. 
quite exhausted. Uh, got the pellet gun out, start chasing the squirrels away. You know, the fruit trees are starting to uh, get little pears and apples on them. Uh, one thing we've found in the last couple of years is uh, we're in competition with the squirrels around here. They tend to wipe us out. Yeah, that's not our goal. <laughs> we can plant, I don't know how many fruit trees to have the squirrels or anything else take them. Yeah, so hopefully I can chase them off. Yes, and I gave them permission to get rid of any wild rabbits too because <laughs> I'm usually like, no, no, don't do that. But they ate enough of my plants, I'm done. Yeah. Having to replant the garden multiple times is, uh, adds a lot of extra work. So, anyway, that was our relaxing long weekend. And I do believe next weekend, uh, over in the U.S., uh, there's another long weekend. Um, I, is it Memorial? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure either. Uh, the holiday here is Victoria Day, or we call it May 2 for a weekend. Um, little play on words I guess but uh, yeah. yeah anyway whatever wherever you live and wherever your weekend falls your long weekend falls if it was here in Canada uh, we hope you uh, enjoyed it made the most of it mm -hmm. if it wasn't relaxing and totally fun I hope it was at least productive like yeah ours. like ours we got a lot done we did I'm happy <laughs> and if your weekend is next weekend uh, we hope you really enjoy it make the most of it exactly all right guys from all of us here at Simplicker homestead really appreciate pre oh i can't even talk uh, we love that you watch us <laughs> thank yeah. you why we don't know yeah. no, we don't but we appreciate it we do we do uh it, it's it's not always easy putting out these videos and i know they're not always the highest quality because it's times like these where it's like oh I know, we could have filmed everything we did, but we didn't have time to film it, no, so that's it, why we're doing a recap. It, it felt like all we did was race against the clock, and, uh, yeah. Well, thanks for joining us, and if you enjoy our videos, thank you. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.